Welcome back to this tutorial on how to create a piece of art in the style of Louis Jove. You should, at this point, have a background in the right colour and divided up your photo into something Louis Jove inspired. And I'm now going to show you how to start adding shapes to your work, um, specifically the solid shapes, which are actually the easiest part um, and probably the part to, to start with. Okay, so you choose the um, circular mask, create a new layer by going down to the bottom right and clicking on the new layer and make sure that your layer is underneath your photograph. Okay, and then pressing shift so you get a circle, create a mask and then you can do the same again again pressing shift and then I'm going to put another one down here and that's good okay and then you go to the um, color tool if I get rid of this menu you can see the colors there I choose my colors I think I'm going to go for like a dark maroon something like that click OK and then I go to my paint bucket and I can click in there and because they're all highlighted they all fill at once okay um, another thing you can do obviously they're all on that one layer now so best to keep it on that layer so create a new layer this time we're going to put something on top of your photograph okay so back to the tool the circular mask choose it and we're going to, I think, put something down the bottom, okay, in front of me. And so, same as again, I grab a different colour. This time I'm going to go with bright red. Grab my paint bucket, click on it, and it turns a very fetching shade of red. Okay? Right, another thing you can do is make things that aren't circles. So, again, circular, and you can create something oval instead. Um, and a good thing about having Louis Jove's work here is that you can use it to help you with the colours. So you can take the paint dropper tool, little pipette, and this time I want to use the green. So you'll notice that clicking on the green has turned my colour green. Paint bucket, boom. Exactly the same green that's in Louis Jove's work. Okay. Right, so that is how to create solid shapes you can obviously also do this with squares if you want with the um, rectangular marquee tool or rectangles okay thus ends the second part of this tutorial